Okay, so let's practice some problems um, converting between moles and mass and molecules. Um, and there's always two things that I know when I'm doing this. And I know that one mole is always equivalent to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Or maybe I'm talking about formula units if it is an ionic compound, or if I'm even just talking about a single element, then I'm talking about 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. Either way, the word mole is always implied that it's equal to that number of particles. Another thing that I know is that a mole is always equal to whatever the molar mass is in grams. So I'm going to make conversion factors out of these things. I can make one mole equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules a conversion factor, and I can make one mole being equivalent to the molar mass in grams a conversion factor. So these are two things I'm going to keep in mind as I'm doing these problems. So let's start. Let's look at number eight. It says to convert 0.92 moles of carbon dioxide to number of oxygen atoms. And for your reference, carbon dioxide is CO2. So let's start with what they give me in the problem. They give me 0.92 mol. Always put a number with your unit. So I'm starting with moles. Don't use the molar mass because I don't have to go to grams. I, I know that CO2 is 44 grams per mole, but I don't need it for this problem. I want number of oxygen atoms. And to get number of oxygen atoms, I've got to go through molecules first. So let's think of what information I know about a mole that's pertinent to this question. I know that in one mole, there's 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. I put moles on the bottom so that it cancels out with the moles that I already have. Now I'm in molecules of carbon dioxide, but I don't want the number of molecules. I want the number of oxygen atoms. So when I'm asked about a specific atom in a molecule, I can end up using the subscript as a conversion factor. I can say that for every one molecule of CO2, I have two oxygen atoms. When you're doing this, just be careful that when you write O atoms, that it doesn't look like 20 atoms. So in my calculator, I'm doing 0.92 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd times 2. And I end up getting 1.1 times 10 to the 24th oxygen atoms. Always put a unit with your number. Notice that molecules has canceled out, moles has canceled out, and I'm left with oxygen atoms. Let's look at another problem. Let's look at the next one. So they give me 530 grams, and I need to find the number of oxygen atoms. I can never go straight to molecules or atoms from grams. I have to go through moles first, because I don't know how many molecules are in a gram, but I do know how many molecules are in a mole. So I always say, when in doubt, mole it out. Okay. In order to mole this out, I need to know the molar mass of aluminum phosphate. So aluminum phosphate, that's the same as AlPO4. And if I calculate the molar mass, there's one aluminum, um, weighs about 27, there's one phosphorus, there's four oxygens, add it up, and I should get about 122 grams in one mole. So I can use that as a conversion factor. So I am setting up my problem 530 grams. Okay, where do I want grams so that it cancels out? I want grams on the bottom. So I'm going to put 122 grams on the bottom in every one mole. Make sure that your molar mass, whatever you calculate, always goes next to the G part in your um, conversion factor. Grams cancels out. Now I'm in moles of aluminum phosphate. I don't want moles. I want number of atoms. Anytime I see that word number, I'm going to use that 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, that number that you have to memorize. So I also know that in one mole, there's 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. In this case, I'm just going to write Fu for formula units because AlPO4, aluminum phosphate, isn't really a molecule because it's ionic, so I'm going to call it a formula unit, the simplest formula. 
Moles cancels out, and I'm in formula units of aluminum phosphate. But I don't want that. I want the number of oxygen atoms. Now I can go to my subscripts. There are four oxygen atoms in every one aluminum phosphate, so I can make another conversion factor in one formula unit, or one molecule, if I was talking about a molecular compound. There are four O atoms. Formula units cancels out, and I'm left with oxygen atoms. So if I were to do this out, I should get about 1.1 times 10 to the 25 oxygen atoms. Let's try the next one. The next one gives me molecules. Let me copy what I have down. 5.00 times 10 to the 24th molecules. And they want moles. It honestly could have said water. It could have said carbon dioxide. It didn't really matter for this question because I always know that there are 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules in one mole. Molecules cancel out. And in my calculator, I can get my answer, 8.30 moles, be specific, of H2O, since that's what they give me in the problem. Okay, let's look at one more. So for this last one, they give me oxygen gas. And there's something very important I have to remember about oxygen gas. Oxygen gas is diatomic. So when I'm talking about oxygen gas, I'm really talking about O2 two oxygens together in one molecule. So here I'm starting with 4.27 times 10 to the 21st molecules and I want to get to grams. I can't go straight to grams because I don't know how many molecules are in a gram, but I do know how many molecules are in a mole. I have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules in one mole. I put molecules on the bottom so that it cancels out. Now I'm in moles. I don't want moles, I want grams. So I can find the molar mass of O2. How many grams are in a mole? There's two oxygens, they each weigh 16 grams per mole. So altogether that's 32 grams per mole. So I can use that as a conversion factor. I want mole on the bottom so that it cancels out. I want 32 grams on top. And I'm going to end up with my answer as about 0.227 grams of oxygen gas.